Thanks for coming back to watch my home projects. I hope this video will inspire you the more to do something unimaginable to your home. In my recent video, when I was sharing about how I repurposed IKEA LAC products, the floating bookshelf, multiple times, I briefly touched on a water damage incident that led to a full living room renovation along with few other rooms. The water damage was devastating. Initially, I thought I could tackle it on my own without the home insurance involvement. I quickly changed my mind as this can easily be covered by home insurance for all damage except for some of the custom work I wanted to do. The damage started from a hot water copper pipe that was passing through a room above the living room. This pipe was hidden under a baseboard cover, which I could have never imagined finding. It had a pinhole problem. Water probably was leaking for a very long time and wasn't visible during the winter season due to radiated heat. It became more pronounced when the springtime came around. Fast forward, we fixed the pinhole on the hot water pipe and demolished the half of the living room ceiling and sheet rocks adjacent to the water damaged areas. Obviously second floor had to be gutted out as well before mold control and drying took place. Wow, the fan and giant dehumidifying machine noises were unbearable. Luckily, we were able to find a small Airbnb near us to ease the hearing. After the team finally dried everything and patched up the ceiling and walls, they followed up with the paint job. While they were doing all the grunt work, I went shopping and began sketching out what I wanted to do with the living room. This was going to be a once in 10 years dream project coming true. I obviously don't expect to do this scale of indoor project anytime soon again. I wanted a custom in-wall bookshelf, renovate the fireplace mantle, repaint the fireplace accent wall to a different color, a new sofa set, possibly a tall open console table that you might see at a boutique coffee shop in front of my human-sized windows with accent stools for kids and bigger recessed lights. I first started with the mantle. I wanted to retain my mantle but wanted to make it just a bit more modern than keeping this classic look. So, I chopped off the thick and ugly top layer with a handsaw and cut the smoothest plywood to build a box to sit on top. I then placed a subtle decorative molding in the fascia of the box. Before I painted, I had to put some serious scratches on the mantle for my primer to stick well. I didn't want to spend a long time peeling the existing lacquer coat. After scratching it evenly, I used brass nail gun to fix any existing moldings that are loose and applied wood putty to fill gaps and applied finger caulking on any lengthy gaps I found around the whole mantle. I prepped the mantle with tack cloths and painted the primer with two different sizes of brushes, 3 inch flat and a 1 inch triangle. As I didn't want any brush strokes seen on the final finish, I chose to spray paint the color coats. I chose brilliant white semi-gloss. While the final coat on the mantle was drying, I bought many more plywood to build the in-wall bookshelf I was dreaming about. I had many sketched ideas, original ideas started with traditional in-wall shelf, but soon decided to go slightly more modern. Yes, an L-shaped floating shelves with baseboard cover with the accorded design. Up next, I'll share more detail about the in-wall-like L-shaped floating bookshelf build. So please subscribe and come back for more Imagine It.